Hey guys, Byron here from HobbyKing.com. Today is an exciting day because we've got a great new product to show you. Uh, many of you are familiar with uh, one of our most famous multi-rotor models uh, in the past, which was the Quantum Nova. And you're seeing this, you probably think, hey, that's just a Quantum Nova. Um, actually, this is the Quantum Nova Pro. And what it is, is the uh, successor to the original Quantum Nova. So what we've done is we've taken all the good things about the original Quantum Nova and uh, we've added a few features to it and uh, upgraded a few of the shortcomings of the original uh, Nova. Now the first thing we want to talk about is the flight time. On the original Quantum Nova, uh, the flight time was just okay, not so great. Um, because at that time, that generation of multi-rotors, uh, you were normally using a 2200 to 2700 3S battery. Um, it doesn't give you a very uh, long flight time, especially once you get a gimbal and a camera mounted to the model. Well, the good news is about the Quantum Nova Pro is this is now using a 5200 milliamp 3 cell battery. Uh, this drastically improves the flight time. In the current configuration you see here without camera or gimbal, you can get flight times of up to 25 minutes. Uh, fully loaded with a camera and the gimbal installed, uh, you're looking at about a usable time of about 18 minutes, uh, which is still really, really good for shooting aerial video. Now, uh, we'll start from the outside here uh, with the propellers. Uh, this is also a, a quite an upgrade from the original Nova. These are 9-inch propellers and they are self-tightening, which you've come to expect now on most uh, modern uh, you know, camera ships such as this. So it's very easy, no tools required, and uh, really quick to take the props on and off. Now, uh, on the side here, you're probably wondering what this little clip is for. I'm going to show you. This is a great new feature. Now, on the original Nova, uh, some guys were DIYing uh, the uh, the flight controller to add their own uh, telemetry function, uh, and it was a bit of a pain. You know, you really have to have some technical knowledge to do so. Well, we've integrated that with the Nova Pro. It's all on board, so you don't have to do anything special. There's no modifications required. The only thing you need to do is add the optional telemetry radio set. This is the HK Pilot uh, transceiver radio. Um, they actually come in a set. You get two pieces uh, when you purchase this. There'll be one that'll clip onto the model, and the other one you keep uh, to plug into your phone, your tablet, or your, uh, say, notebook PC. Now, uh, what this does, we've got them in two different versions. There's a 433 megahertz and a 915 megahertz. So you want to make sure you buy the appropriate one for uh, your region. And uh, this is going to send back um, telemetry information, and it also allows you to use uh, uh, autonomous flight functions, such as GPS waypoints, uh, unmanned missions, uh, the whole lot. Uh, so it's very, very cool. And uh, this just works uh, together with the Mission Planner software on your uh, PC, or you can use uh, the Tower app from 3DR on your uh, mobile device. Um, this, as you have already guessed, is a APM. It's an open source uh, flight controller. Uh, so that integrates uh, perfectly with the HK Pilot System uh, uh, transceiver radios. Now, uh, on the bottom here, because we just talked about this radio, you've got a telemetry port, and that will connect directly to the telemetry radio. We've got a specialized cable in the box. It's already uh, pre-made here in the um, accessories bag, so you just plug that in, uh, one end to the uh, telemetry port, the other end to the radio. Uh, you've got a gimbal 12-volt output. Uh, this has already got a plug on it to match our Q2D and Q3D quantum gimbals, so those will plug right in. Your USB port for programming, and then you've got two auxiliary outputs, which are uh, generally used for controlling the gimbal's roll and tilt angle, and that can be done with the auxiliary knobs on your radio here. Now, uh, going back to the telemetry radio, so I mentioned before the clip on the side it was for the telemetry radio. I'll just show you how that works. This just clips right in, very convenient, and then you'll use the uh, cable that's included in the bag to connect, and then connect to your telemetry port. So very simple. Now, again, these are sold separately. They're in the related items tab, so you can find them right there and choose the one that's appropriate for your region. Now, uh, most of the other things, as far as the outlet goes, are quite similar to the original Nova. So you've got the same landing legs. Um, the body shell's a bit different. It's a little bit taller now to accommodate the larger battery. Now, one of the other big changes that we made is up here in the GPS dome. So the original Nova had the GPS mounted down on the uh, main board, and uh, the compass alone was uh, mounted up here, and it's not really an ideal solution. So what we've done is we've redesigned the, um, the GPS module here, and it actually integrates the compass module as well. So it gets it up away from the motors and out of the body, and it's more secure now being mounted, uh, hard mounted in the dome. Now the next thing I want to talk about are the motors. Uh, we've made quite an improvement to the motors here. The original Nova had 2212 motors, uh, so they're 22 millimeter uh, diameter and uh, 12 millimeter uh, length. Now the new motors here are 2312, so they're actually a 23 millimeter diameter. It's a bit beefier, it gives it a bit more torque and helps it to run a bit cooler, especially when carrying heavy loads such as a camera and a gimbal. So very efficient motors and uh, you know, really as far as the look goes, you'll see quite similar just in the black color rather than the silver, but uh, the actual difference as far as the size um, makes quite a bit of difference in efficiency and in power. 
Now, uh, one other thing to mention on this, we'll take the propeller off here so you can see. These have steel shafts. Uh, the original motors actually just have a machined um, aluminum threads for mounting the props. Uh, so these actually have a steel shaft that runs all the way through. It also makes it much more durable. So if you do have a crash or uh, you know a flight into a tree, something like that, there's, <clears throat> there's a lot less chance you're going to do any damage to your motor uh, with the new motors on the Nova Pro. Now, as I mentioned, this uh, Nova Pro, this particular configuration is the ready-to-fly configuration. So this comes with everything you need right out of the box. So you've got the radio, which is actually uh, the same radio that was included with the original Nova. Um, we've just done a little bit of changes to the flight modes, but other than that, it's uh, identical. Um, you've got now the Turnigy B4 charger included. This is very easy to use uh, a charger. You don't need to program it or do anything like that. Uh, literally, the balance port will just plug in here and uh, it's actually covered up by the warning label, but you've got uh, your standard uh, charging jacks to connect your banana leads and then use your uh, XT60 plug. Now, uh, this can either be powered off of a 12 volt source, uh, such as your uh, car battery if you're at the flying field, or you can use the included um, AC adapter, uh, which this also comes in the box. So you just plug it in and uh, plug the other end into the charger, and you've got your uh, power supply sorted out. Now, as I mentioned before, you've got the accessory bag. So you've got a few different cables in here. You've got uh, the specialized telemetry cable, which will connect the, um, the optional uh, HK Pilot transceiver radio to the telemetry port. Um, you also have two uh, servo style leads, which these are used for uh, connecting the um, uh, gimbal for your uh, tilt and roll control. Um, and there's also a power cable in there, which has the uh, specialized gimbal power uh, plug on both ends. So you can plug that right into our uh, Q3D or Q2D gimbal and then plug into the power jack on the bottom of the model. Now, uh, lastly, this comes with a action camera mount. This is suitable for a GoPro um, or uh, similar uh, cameras. Uh, it's actually designed for the GoPro 3. Um, this will uh, mount just to the bottom and it has uh, rubber damping balls as well. Um, though most of you will probably go the route of mounting a brushless gimbal. Um, and as I mentioned again, out of the box, this is fully compatible with the Quantum Q2D and Q3D. So you can find those gimbals uh, related in the related items tab on this product page. Okay, so that's it guys, it's the Quantum Nova Pro. A lot of great new features here on the new version. Uh, be sure to check it out, it's on the new items page now. Also in the product listing, be sure to watch the uh, product video. We've got a full video in there showing this uh, model flying and some of the footage that we've captured with it. Um, and later, stay tuned for our product profile video, which will go into more detail. Um, we don't have much time here in the daily, but uh, the product uh, profile will go into detail about the features and uh, some of the optional things you can do for advanced users, such as the telemetry radio usage. Um, so be sure to check that out as well. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so.